Jesus Christ be praised. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have human marauders here. Ah, so it was you Bernard was speaking of. Well, the Cumans are marauding, that's for sure. So Givish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No, they're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp, along the road to Neuhoff, hidden between the cliffs. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you've killed the camp leader. They wear peculiar helmets with a face mask of sorts, easy to recognize. All right, I'll see to it. I have some trophies. Show me. How much do we get for cumin ears? They deserved it, the bastards. Ah, same price. That's fine. I'd like to improve my... Certainly. Well, I'll think it over. God save you. I'd like you to show me some hunt. Sir. I'd like to practice the basic. All right, but it'll cost. Now. Master Huntsman. As always, you're that Scarlet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. That'll be me. Right. I saw you here shortly after the attack. My word, to get away from Talmberg like that. Quite remarkable. It's clear you're not easily scared. So I do have a job for you. I'm listening. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, We've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. And you want me to track down the poachers? Indeed. Whatever you learn will be useful to me. Do you suspect anyone? Well, it's hard to say, but seeing how much harm they're causing, I'd say they're no crofters looking for a Sunday roast. I'll try to find out something about them. Any advice about where to start? Certainly. Ask around the village. Somebody must have seen or heard something. And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the Inn in the Glade, the one on the road towards Neuhoff. I've heard they serve good venison, and no shortage of it. That's clear mm. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for your help, lad. Oh, I see some. The idiots are sleeping. Who fucking wants some? Come out in the open, buddy. I do a lot of damage, I feel like. That's nice. Hey. Brutal. Ah, 
Oh, he's dead. Let's go, boys. We're on that murder grind. There's Andrew. My respects to you. Can I sleep here? Certainly. For how long? How about if I... All right. There you go. So it looks like, like if you here. pay for a few days, you just have it. Listening to you first. I hear you have some game here from time to time. Aye, we have dice games happening most nights. <laughs> you make a stuffed bird, lad. You know full well why. No, I've no idea what you're talking about. Also, he's highborn. Come now, let's not lie to each other. I know very well you sell poached game here. Oh, you do? Do you? How's that? I've seen a bit of the world. I know how things go. Even so, I don't rightly understand what you're on about. I've heard there are poachers in the area, and I'd like to join them. Ah, you should have said right away you're in the trade. But before I tell you anything, I'll have to put you to the test. You know, I can't send every Tom, Dick and Harry to my friends. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? At the stud farm near here. Can't send every Tom, Dick and Harry to my Jacob. friends. Got lucky at dice. And oh my man, Jakob. And what that to do with me? If you'd stop interrupting, you might find out. Anyway, he's so full of himself, he doesn't want to give it back. Not even for money. But he's very fond of archery. And I don't need to add he likes to make bets. I'm with you. If I can win your tango back and bring it to you, you'll know that you're not completely useless. That's right. So, get going. I'm thirsty, and I'll always taste it better out of my trusty old tango. All right, Andrew. Farewell. God be with you. I hear you want a tankard off Andrew the innkeeper. I did. Look what's on my side. What's it to you? Hmm. You ought to give it back. Why should I? Because the innkeeper wants it back, and because I fucking say so. Manly words. Well, if you want the tankard, words won't be enough. Fine. Have it your way. Goodbye. Oh, I gotta beat his ass. <laughs> Yeah, suck it. Don't keep knees, have you? I just keep kneeing him in his face. <laughs> God be with you. I hear you want to. I did. I always did like that tankard. How do you fancy? What do you have in mind? I've heard it said you're the best archer in the region. But I... Maybe not the best. Very well. I'll bet the tankard against your groshin. Deal? Fine. Let's Four. do it. Follow me then. God be with you. And we're shot for shot. Favorable win. Sacred. 
He could miss one or two. He had a favorable wind. He had a favorable wind. I need a three. Damn it. Ha! Sell up, youngster. And feel free to... So, what about... So, how about... Says, very well. Fine. Take care. Miss one or two. Not bad. This archery stuff's not the easiest. feel very good but still got it Ah, so you're not completely useless. Lukesh will be happy to see what handy people I'm sending you. I suppose this Lukesh is your poacher friend. Now then, poacher's not a very nice word. I'll call him more a, a man who knows a good opportunity when he sees one. I see. And where can I find this opportunistic friend of yours? He lives on the hill to the north of the castle, in a small hut. If you're planning to talk to him, make sure you tell him I sent him. I won't forget. Thanks. I'm the one who should thank you. I'm looking forward to putting my lips to the old love of mine. Hmm. Andrew the innkeeper sent me. Said you had a job for someone who's good with a bow. Did he now? That's all very well, but I don't know if you're a man I can trust. So how can I prove it to you? For a start, you can tell me why a lad like you wants to join us. I have a score to settle with his lordship. And I can't think of any better way to get revenge. <laughs> then you've come to the right place. Anyway, I have to check you out first. See if you're any good. I'm listening. To begin with, I need to know if you're at home in the woods. And if you're any kind of hunter. Bring me some deer antlers, and then we'll talk. Easy. Dropped him. We're hunting, boys. Whee! 
I was beginning to worry you'd got lost in the forest. No need to worry. I would have come back sooner, but it seemed a long way to go for just a walk. Well, well, so you're keen on hunting. I like that, lad. So give me the trophy, and the first task of your trial is done. The first task? Well, there was only one to begin with. But then I thought you could do something else for us. I see. So what do you want me to do next? Kill a dragon? Catch a water sprite? Hilarious. Better listen up, lad. Nicholas the Huntsman has a very fine old hunting horn. But we'd like Nicholas better without any horns. Understand? Wait. What's all this about? Nothing to worry yourself with now. Get the horn, and we'll have a bit of fun. All right. So where is this horn? Sometimes he carries it with him. It is a badge of office, after all. But I don't suppose he sleeps with it. Best to go at night and have a look around his lodge. It's on the hill above the village, opposite the castle. Come back to me as soon as you've got the horn. I can't wait to see the look on Nicholas's face. Right, I'll get to it. Glad to hear it. Good luck. I'm glad to see you. I've good news, Master Hunter. I tracked down one of the poachers right here in the village. Excellent. Who is he? Black Lukesh. I might have known. That fellow has quite a reputation. All bad. And how about the rest of them? I don't know about any others so far, but I'm on the scent. So, keep at it. I need your hunting horn. What? Why, for Christ's sake? I have the poachers hooked. If I take your horn to them, they'll welcome me like a brother. But that horn's valuable. What if I never see it again? Don't worry. Give it to me, and you'll get it back along with the whole gang in chains. Trust me. All right, if I absolutely have to. But remember, if you run off with my horn, you'd better run far and fast. Here you go. Take good care of it. Take up, you slut. I have that horn for you. Ah! I'm looking forward to seeing the smile wiped off Nicholas's face when he finds out. As for you, the old man says you're in. Last time you told me that if I brought the horn, you'd finally tell me what's going on. Let's put it this way. Our old man's had it in for Master Huntsman Nicholas for years. Why does he have it in for him? There's more than one reason. But the heart of it is, Nicholas lied under oath and almost got him hanged. That's a fair enough reason. <laughs> You're telling me. What's he trying to achieve? Do you want to know? Ask around the village what they think of the Master Huntsman. Poaching pigeons the old man on is my land. A bigger and bigger fool of him day by day. I'll have you Soon hanged enough, for that. The gossip will reach the ears of Sir Divish himself. And that's just what the old man wants. So, what comes next? We're just getting something big ready. We'll make camp in the north of Broder Woods. There's a concealed glade. And that's where you'll find us. Alright? I'll meet you there. I hear you're able to open locks. Certainly. I'd like to practice the... All right. Now. I hear you're able... Certainly. I'm interested in more... Wouldn't you rather learn the base... Well. Will you teach me how to... Certainly. I'd like to practice the... All right. Now. <laughs> so you're the new fellow. Luke, you said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lukesh tell you who's in charge? Well, speak of the devil. 
started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Goathead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. Not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Radha and the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. So, Henry, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Why you came here. Where you come from. You know how it goes. I want to know your story. What if I don't have one? Everyone has a story. These ways, everyone in this clearing does. Sir! Sir! The Tomboggers are coming!